Hi, I've got something for you. I have for you right now a pack of 50 presets that you can pull up in the free software DaVinci Resolve and customize to create your own custom stream assets. We've got alerts, camera overlays, countdowns, transitions. Oh my. And all you've got to do to get it is subscribe. Or check the link in the description. Actually, even if you do subscribe, you will need to click the link in the description, but you should still subscribe. Let's check out what's in the pack and stick around because I'm going to show you one feature of these presets that I am very excited about and I really think will be instrumental to you learning how to create assets like this for yourself in the Fusion page. Let's go. Now, once you've installed these presets, instructions for that are in the README that's included in the pack. Anytime you're on the edit page, you can go to the effects library, select generators and scroll down to Fusion generators and there you will see all of these presets, all of which are delineated with the prefix SSC and then another abbreviation to tell you what category that specific preset is in. In this pack, there are alerts, backgrounds, be right back screen assets, camera overlays, transitions, and countdowns. The countdowns don't have a single abbreviation, but are sorted by the intended length of the preset, one minute, three minutes, or five minutes. When you drag any of these presets onto your timeline, and side note, all of these presets do require a 60 frame per second timeline, except for the countdowns, but we'll get to that later. But when you drag it to the timeline, you will create a clip that is five seconds long. For some presets like transitions and alerts, this is totally fine. The animation of those will take place in less than five seconds, so you can move on to customizing and then exporting those. The countdowns are pretty self-explanatory, and some presets like backgrounds 7 through 10 and camera overlays 4 and 5 have animation that continues on indefinitely, so you can extend those to any length you'd like. The others, however, all have a time length specified at the end of their name. These times are the length at which these presets will perfectly loop. For example, let's grab this background 5 element. Drag it onto the timeline. This element loops at 10 seconds, so we can right click on our clip, select change clip duration, and change that to 10 seconds. And then if we preview that animation, you will see the motion of that preset over time. And you'll also notice that the end and beginning are set up to perfectly loop. Nice. Once you have your clip at the correct duration, you can open up the inspector to see all of the custom controls for that preset. The things you'll often see are font, size, and color choice for text. And any solids you'll have color controls over, including the option to turn those solids into a gradient. For example, in the three minute countdown rotate preset, inside the inspector, we have all these custom controls. You can change the color for any of these elements independently, and you have full control over the two text fields. This opens up an absurd amount of customization. In this pack, you have 50 stream assets in a nice and clean black and white, but you have an unfathomable amount of stream assets the moment you start customizing with these controls. If you have an established brand or color palette, pull those colors in and all of these presets will instantly slide right into your current stream setup and feel right at home. That is really exciting, but what I am most excited about is coming up next. I edited these presets to allow you to easily figure out how they were built and to give you the knowledge to build similar assets yourself. With any preset on your timeline, simply open the Fusion page and you will see a group node connected to your media out. Simply double click on that and it will expand to reveal the entire node tree that I built to accomplish this effect. Obviously, this will allow you to mess with any part of the node tree and even add additional nodes to further customize the effect, but it also gives you space to start breaking down how each individual alert background and transition was made. I almost forgot, rendering. You are going to want to render these out and preserve the alpha channel. And you'll probably want to then convert them to WebM. You can find out how to do all of that in this other video I made. Check it out. It's really my hope that these will be a valuable teaching tool for anyone that wants to make their own stream assets in Fusion, or even anyone that wants to dive into the motion graphics functionality of Resolve. These presets are just scratching the surface of what is possible inside Resolve. If you have any questions about these presets or run into any issues, leave a comment below. If any of you end up using these elements on your stream, please tell me, I would love to see that. 
please go ahead and like this video if it was useful or if you even stuck around long enough to be listening to me talk now. And do subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Thanks, I'll see you next time.